we're going to see how it's coming along. So, yeah, so now I'm cleaning my area. So as much as making pasta is about understanding the texture, I'm talking about universal pasta, but when I move to gnocchi, um, I'm, I have measured out my flour and cornstarch, right? So I have 120 grams of all-purpose flour. It should be double zero, but it's all-purpose will do for now. Um, cornstarch as well. So I have 120 grams of cornstarch. I have 300 grams of potatoes. I'm going to scrape the potatoes right here in front of you. You want to get as much as you can, of course, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, I, for, for this kind of gnocchi, I am using the fine grater. If you have a ricer at home, that is the best thing that you can use for gnocchi. But if you don't, you know, this is fine too. It's good. Um, The gnocchi is basically pasta, um, which is which is made with using potato as a binding agent, right? Now, keep in mind that it's important that you really uh, measure this out. So, as you saw with pasta, I was like, okay, I can make this more, I can make this more, I'll add two more uh, eggs to it, to the leftover flour, and I have, um, you know, I have... Uh, I have a little more pasta. In this case, I'm not going to do that. Okay? Now, the reason is that you really want to make sure that your proportions, as far as um, potatoes go, are good. You want to take out these big, small pieces left in the back. You want to just use the grated um, potatoes, right? So this is the grated potatoes right here. I'm going to take this, move this out of the view of the camera, right here. And now, I am going to incorporate my flour. So just like before, um, now in this case, gnocchi is not a hard dough. It's a softer to a medium dough. You need to know, um, you need to mix it, mix the cornstarch and the flour, you know, and then you throw it in there. Now of course there are many recipes out there. This is my recipe. It is tried and tested. Um, I have been making pasta for a long time now. I was I worked in an Italian restaurant, um, handmade pizzas, handmade pastas, and of course you have more manpower when you're doing that. In this case, you can do it for like one person can do it for like 50 people, you know, before a service. But if you're planning to do it for, um, you know, 200 people, now you need a couple of people making pasta, not not just or you need to be really well executing your plan. So both of them, yeah, you could do it just by yourself, but then you need to have a plan. You need to know, okay, what time, how much pasta, how long am I gonna take, what's my prep time? All these things are very important in a kitchen. Um, again, it's, it's kind of like, um, it's mise en place. Everything that we do is mise en place, which is setting off the scene, right? So mise en place, you've read about it, it's setting up the, it's off the space, you know. So I need some oil, uh, some water for this. I have a four ounce cup. Um, water in the case of Noki is really um, feeling it out. I couldn't tell you how much water I add to it. Um, so maybe it's just a teaspoon. Maybe it's a tablespoon. Um, the idea is to have a dough, okay, not crumbly, and mix it up, and it's still not ready, so. The dough is forming now, I can, I can feel the consistency of the dough forming. 
it's not as crumbly as it was it's getting better um, you know again as I said unlike the pasta dough this is a soft dough that you work with um, it's it's really a, it, it's really gnocchi again once you have gnocchi ready so simple you boil it in the water right you basically simmer it in the water once you've done that you just pan fry it in butter clarified butter for that and now you can add it to a sauce right sauce has to be simple Italians the sauce they keep it simple you know you look at marinara you look at pesto you look at uh, bolognese they're all simple sauces so in the following video I'm going to be showing you how to do a marinara I have a pesto already ready and I'm also going to show you how to do a classic Alfredo now um, and I'll, I'll leave some of that information for that demo so this is not going to be that long of a uh, of a video so right now we are at 19 minutes so this would probably be a 20 minute video right so now or 22 because I want to keep it short so I can easily upload it so now I have the pasta dough on one side here's this. so that's the that's the gnocchi dough here's the pasta dough you can see the color difference right so the gnocchi dough is ready the pasta dough is ready and now I'm going to just uh, let it rest and then we'll make this. Okay? Awesome.